Travis Scott is one of the biggest names in hip-hop today. Known for his energetic performances, unique sound, and chart-topping albums, he's amassed a massive following. But with great fame comes great scrutiny. Let's break down his career and see if the hype is justified. Travis Scott has been interested in music ever since he was a kid, a product of his dad and grandfather who pursued music as a drummer and a jazz player respectively. His parents recognized the lack of stability in the music industry and pushed him to attend college instead. The school wasn't really Travis's thing. So I was in college, my mom thought I was in school, so she thought I was paying for school, but she was like paying for like food and plane tickets. This dangerous game only lasted so long. After paying him a surprise visit at school, his parents realized that he was long gone. That's when they decided to teach him a lesson the hard way. Like, I'm not, I, I was homeless at the time. Like, I had no crib, none of that. You were homeless or you were couch surfing? No, nah, I was like homeless. Like, you were in the street? Yeah, in the street, like in my friend's car. They cut off all financial support. Without a job or any breakthrough opportunities in the rap game, Travis was forced into a period of true homelessness. So, you didn't want to call your mom and be like, hey, I'm not. Oh, no, nah, man. I probably, I'm, I'm going to come clean, bro. I'm a, I'm a hard, I'm a hard nigga before I cry, like, at least, like, once on that mission. Travis had invested everything he had into making his rap career work. His rise began with his debut mixtape, Owl Pharaoh. It was his debut studio album, Rodeo, in 2015 that put him on the map. Hits like Antidote showcased his knack for blending hip-hop with psychedelic and electronic elements. His second album, Birds in the Trap Sing McKnight, further solidified his place in the industry, featuring hits like Goosebumps with Kendrick Lamar. But it was Astro World that truly catapulted him to superstar status, with singles like Sicko Mode becoming anthems of a generation. Travis's live performances have always been a crucial part of his allure. During a festival in Texas, Travis played Antidote live for the first time only days after it was recorded. It wasn't even finished yet, but it was clear that people loved it. He captioned it saying that the song was for real ragers only and that it was an exclusive single not to be featured on Rodeo. But its success gave him no choice. With the hype surrounding the song alongside Days Before Rodeo, we're selectively <laughs> right. putting together the new sound okay. to test. When standout features on multiple tracks, it's no surprise that Travis debuted at number three on the Hot 100 for his first album's release, becoming the number one rap album at the time. Everyone was talking about Travis Scott, but the biggest hit was still waiting for success. On August 8th, 2018, he released his album Astro World. Astro World wasn't just an album, it was a cultural phenomenon. The album received critical acclaim and commercial success, debuting at number one on the Billboard 200. The accompanying Astro World Festival became a must-attend event for music fans. Drawing in massive crowds and featuring top-tier artists, Travis Scott isn't just a musician, he's a brand. From his groundbreaking partnership with Fortnite, where he performed a virtual concert seen by millions, to his collaborations with Nike and McDonald's, Travis has redefined what it means to be a modern artist. But with great power comes great scrutiny. Critics often argue that Travis Scott is overrated, and this debate has sparked intense discussions among fans and detractors alike. One common criticism is that his lyrics lack depth, frequently revolving around familiar themes of partying, drugs, and materialism. While these topics are popular in hip-hop, some listeners feel that Travis's lyrical content doesn't offer much beyond catchy hooks and hypnotic beats. Additionally, many attribute his atmospheric soundscapes to the skilled producers and collaborators he works with rather than his own musical genius. This raises the question, is Travis Scott the mastermind behind his success, or is he merely the face of a well-oiled machine operated by others? The answer is complex and depends on what you value in an artist. If you're looking for profound lyrics and musical complexity, he might not be your top pick. Ultimately, music is subjective. What matters most is how it resonates with you.